Welcome to the Easton Power Sensor Quick Start Video Guide. Going to show you charging the sensor and getting the sensor connected to the app on your mobile device and then also around the app features as well. So to start, uh, take the sensor out of the box along with the back grip attachment and you want to place the sensor blast logo facing out. Insert it into the grip attachment and then that will attach to the end of the bat. To charge, you can invert the grip attachment and just place directly on the charger like that. Give it 30 minutes at least to get a minimum charge and then an hour to an hour and a half for a full charge which will last about eight hours. Once you have the sensor charged, you're going to launch the Easton Power Sensor app which you can get from the App Store. To sign up for a new account, we're gonna go in and enter our name, email, and password. Zip code and gender will be optional. So once you get logged in, we'll need to add a new bat. So you're gonna go into settings, second tab is bat, add new bat. We're gonna go in here, pick a brand, pick your model, all mini models should be preloaded. If not, you can manually enter. So we'll go down here, choose a Mako. You can also nickname a bat, whether you wanna do inches or someone's name in here, you can nickname the bat model and then it needs to know the length and the weight of the bat. Once added, click activate sensor and simply move the sensor up and down and the sensor will then connect. To switch from one bat to another, click disconnect and switch over to your quick start bat, move the sensor and it'll connect. When you take a swing, you must make contact to get data and then your data will be stored here in your swing history. Each swing can then be viewed individually, the different metrics to that swing. If you wanna see a summary of the data, you can go to the metrics icon, and again, see the metrics here, or you can go to the blast factor tab, and this is your summary blast factor score with all of your scores, your swing speed, and your time to contact. You can scroll over to the right, see your power index, Scroll over again and see your efficiency index. Any of these metrics, you can click on the blue eye icon to get definitions. To activate the video feature of the app, uh, middle button right here will connect you to the device's camera. And I'm going to pull up the phone here and show you how that works. You will take video uh, with the device of someone hitting and then it'll be stored in your swing history here, with the rest of your swings, it's going to chop up each individual video. So we can select the video, and then as you can see on the top, each metric is linked to the video. And you can also play it at real speed. You can grab and scrub through towards the point of impact. And you can also Scrub through in slow motion with the arrows to see the swing and the swing speed linked together as he comes up towards impact, which is indicated here at the top as well. To share this video, share button in the top left corner, it'll process the video and you can then send via email, via text or post to social media. So on your settings button, bottom right, this is your profile. This is where you'll manage all of your bats. You can add as many bats as you'd like here and switch between. And then app as well, you can change the sounds, you can change your background images, you can see uh, the metrics, how you'd like to view them. Uh, help will take you to customer support, FAQ, the Easton Power Sensor microsite, show you definitions. And then guest as well as a feature. If you turn this on, um, any data that is swung when this feature is turned on will not be saved to your user profile. That is relevant because all of your stats um, will be stored here in the stats tab under your swing history. So we only have um, a couple bats added, but you'll be able to filter by bat, by session, and then by metrics, blast factor, time to contact, swing speed.